champion. He's looked good so far this year. You know, I've watched him in a few online tournaments. Look like he's made a lot of improvements to his offense to get better at passing, but you see it there. Fifth in rushing defense. Like I said, the defense is what separates him, so I think that could be a, a big thing when it comes to this game. Let's kick this one off. Can T.D. Barrett pull off the upset? Will Noah become a club champion for the first time? It's going to be T.D. Barrett getting the ball first as we kick off this Patriots club champion. Let's get to go know Noah a little better. Noah Johnson, 18 years old from Ellicott City, Maryland. So we mentioned 48000 and change in career earnings from the MCS. Club semifinalist last year. T.D., this is a kid whose career is just beginning. Yeah, just beginning 18 years old, the youngest belt winner ever. Plays with some of the best players. You know, he labs with guys like Jay Bird, K-Mac, Oreo, Throne. So he's going to be very prepared. And he's going to be ready to go. Taking a look at his mutt item to watch. No surprise, it's the quarterback for Noah. He's going to be looking to dial up some dots with Brett Favre. Yeah, you know, that's the item to watch because he's such a good runner, but he's going to need to be able to pass. He's going to need that Brett Favre using that gunslinger and those Omaha abilities to get some offense going because of how good his defense is. He's going to look to take down T.D. Barrett, 24 years old. Brett Barrett looking to become the first Canadian club champion from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. A Madden 21 Patriots finalist here looking to make some noise going from content creator to competitive player. He says, T.D., this is his goal. Yeah, he's very committed to this, you know, his first ever major. So, you know, the nerves are going to be there, but he's been prepared by some of the best in the game as well. You know, he's with that elite Madden, those EMB guys. He really learned about competitive Madden through joke. So I think he's going to be prepared as well. And he's running that Baltimore Ravens playbook, which you don't see often. Take a look at his mutt item to watch. One of the 99s coming out in, uh, in regs. Aaron Donald, the best defensive player in the game with inside stuff. Well, we talked about Noah's ability to run the ball. That's what he wants to do. So for TD Barrett, he's going to need to stop that run. And what, what better way to do it than Aaron Donald at D-tackle with inside stuff? That's going to be a difference maker in this game for him. Oh, I know that people are excited to see what TD Barrett can do. As he sets his audibles tie, he's got a, as tall of a tall task as it gets. Noah has been playing as well as anybody in Madden 21. Yeah, without a doubt. But for TD Barrett, I know he has so many supporters in the chat. You know, I was out, in, I was up in the chat a little bit earlier checking it out. I saw a bunch of TD Barrett support in there, so I know he's got a lot of people on his side. But like you said, Nick, this is a tall task. He's a big underdog as far as competitive goes. Noah is no guy you can play around with. And we haven't mentioned this yet for our, our <laughs> new viewers out there. You see that delay of game? It's been declined all three times. It's a common gentleman's agreement here in the game of men. Yeah, you know, it gives you that those 30 seconds to kind of set your audibles, set your rosters, sub in the guys you need. And most times you're going to see everyone decline it. That's so you can both do it on both sides of the ball. TD Barrett on offense to start this game. How about a little read option? And it's Michael Vick. First down and more. He'll slide down at the 40-yard line. Great start offensively for the YouTube star. Well, in your first major, your first competitive game on a stage like this, and you get a big play running a little QB rap right there with that Mike Vick. So no nerves so far on the first play. We'll see what the rest of the drive looks like, but great way to start it off if you're TD Barrett. That's got to get you a pretty big exhale to start the game, right? Like the nerves, you're competing in your first televised MCS game. Picking up 15 on the first down has got to settle some of those down. Oh, without a doubt. And, you know, we talked to TD Barrett, and he has a lot of respect for Noah's game. He knows how good he is on defense with the stick work, as you see a big run here. But TD Barrett knows how good Noah is. And the thing that I love about TD Barrett is most guys in the content creation uh, field of Madden, they don't know about competitive Madden, but not TD Barrett. This guy, he grew up watching Madden Nation. He's been watching competitive Madden, really got into it last year. So he's very committed. He said he wants to be great at this. And, you know, it's just awesome to see, really. Yeah, talking to him, he said this isn't a gimmick. This isn't just for a YouTube video. He wants to be a competitive Madden player. He wants to dovetail this with his uh, content creation career and show that you can do it if you put your mind to it. He said one of his biggest keys, TD, was finding a group like EMB to lab with. Exactly. I mean, if you're looking for a group to play with, there's no better group than EMB. I mean, those guys are going to have you prepared. You see him coming out in a very unique offense. Like we said, he's in that Baltimore Ravens playbook. It's going to be a lot of kind of gimmick bubblegum stuff that we heard you talking about. But we'll see if he has some dots mixed in. But a lot of shotgun here in this Ravens playbook. 
Second and ten. First pass of the game for TD Perry. He looks over the middle. Dummy. It's oh, Lorcan oh, picked oh, up by Noah. Tanner Mays making plays for the oh, man in 20 man. challenge champion. When you're going up against a defensive so master like Noah, you on, can't make that decision. Over, I apologize for that one. On, you man. hear Barrett saying just a bad read, read right there. I mean, just it really was just a terrible read. I mean, Noah was all over it with his user. Just something you can't do. I think the nerves played in the part right there. That was his first pass attempt of the game. I think he had a little bit of nerves. And now Noah, you know, he's Noah's like the young veteran. Because when we saw him last year, he did not look like he was playing in his first MCS majors. You know what I mean? He looked like he was ready to go with that defense. And first drive of the game, you see a big pick to start it off. And you know, TD, as we see Noah on offense for the first time, last year he was the guy with no lab crew. He just played a lot of games. But this year, he sort of found a niche with, with the self-proclaimed TGL crew. Team get lucky lab with guys like Jaybird and Oreo trying to get ready for this game. K-Mac, these guys have a lot of faith in their guy Noah. Oh, yeah, TGL, the new up-and-coming crew. And those guys you mentioned all have experience in the MCS, Jaybird. We're going to see K-Mac later on in the AFC North, a guy like Oreo who's an experienced veteran. So he's very well prepared, and joining a crew like that only helps you get better because last year, like you said, he wasn't really playing with anyone. He was just kind of, you know, he played a lot of online tournaments. He was just kind of, he was just like a baller is what I call it. He just kind of picked up the game, learned it quickly, but now he's more dialed in. He takes it very serious. First and ten is going to start off with a toss play to Saquon Barkley. Not, we've seen a little bit of Saquon. It seems like this year, unlike last year at the club champions, uh, ch club championship TD, we're seeing a lot more uh, variance in which running backs are getting play. Yeah, much more variance than last year. It goes back to the toss here. It looks like he found something he likes, but we've seen, I think we saw one other person use Saquon. We mainly see Reggie Bush pretty much on every roster. We see a little bit of Barry Sanders, but interesting to see Noah go with that Saquon but on those first two plays looks pretty solid second and ten for Noah into the strong eye two tight ends on the right side Brett Favre at quarterback it is a stretch run for Mostert can't forget about Raheem Mostert I know it's hard to remember that he's a running back because he gets lined up at wide receiver all the time <laughs> yeah it's like we always see him out wide you saw earlier that big touchdown that Prodigy had to really seal him the victory with Mostert over the top. So it's a nice little two-headed attack here with Barkley and Mostert, a really effective offensive scheme. They're down and four. Can TD Barrett get the stop? Noah's going to drop back to pass out of the strong eye formation. Good coverage to the right side, but left side. Right. There's the man. That's a big man to leave open. Hernan Davis oh, to the 22. Reliable, man. Great laser right there. Goes to one of my favorite route combos. He goes with the play FL Drive, which has the backside deep post, but he also has that motion slant and then a sharp tight end post. It really stresses the user over the middle of the field, forces him to use one, and he throws the other one. Oh, oh, come man. inside. There oh, goes Saquon. One more time. Lots of space. You, you can't give him that come much on, room. One more to the house for Noah up next. Make him pass. Man. Make him pass and the Noah game is over. Noah really good so far to start this Make game. Make him pass and the game is over. Built off that, all that pass. success Come from on. last year. Bro, give me one more and, stop. You know, you, one more stop. You see one Noah, he's just going to. I never even seen this offense before, bro. I don't even know what playbook he's in. I don't need to get my words in, Nick, because this is what Noah does, man. He chirps, he gets loud, he gets fired up. He plays with passion and emotion, and he's starting the game early really good. Look at this one more time. You cannot give Saquon Barkley that much man, green grass. On. One more stop. One more stop. It's over. I promise you. One more stop. It's over. Come on, man. One more stop. It's over. I promise you. Make him pass. Simple play call right there. He went with that stretch to the outside. You see him coming out in that wing flex close, audible and down to I form and strong. Just stretch to the outside. Man, nice play call. And his defense continues Make him pass. It's going to get up. ugly. Make him pass. It's going to get ugly, bro. I promise you it's going to get ugly. Bring it up, bring it up. Come on, man. Make him pass. No, I think defensively Noah's game plan is going to be to try to make TD Barrett pass. <laughs> Without a doubt. And, you know, we heard in the pregame Mo saying that he thinks Noah is the best defensive player or defensive stick work in the best of the game. And I noticed it last year. Really, you know, when we watched him play in the challenge, Nick, that was the first time I kind of really saw him play. And I was just so impressed from day one with how he plays defense. And he's continued here in Madden 21. Second and 14 for TD Barrett. Play clock running down. What the? RPO, and he doesn't hand the ball off. He doesn't pass. He doesn't do a whole lot of anything. Now huh? the Asamoah in the backfield. 
Don't love All the right. play call right there. I don't know if he was taking a page out of Franchise's book with the little RPO screen right there, but from watching Franchise play, that's not something you want to kind of emulate here. And already in a difficult third and 16 now, Noah can really dial it in. Maybe he brings some heat, might stay with some coverage, but watch his user over the middle. Third and 16. Oh, and okay, I got to relax a little bit. You know, this is maybe one of the the aspects of the game, Ty, that is it's overlooked a little bit, especially for guys who haven't been here before. There's a lot of nerves with five thousand dollars on the line and the chance to represent an NFL team. Oh, Nick, you nailed it on the head. You know, th that's what people don't understand about getting into competitive and why it's so difficult, man. Because you know, as we watch this play, and I'll I'll, I'll continue my oh, point right here. Nice guy right here. Oh, oh, oh laser up the middle, oh, Buddy Vernon from first down. I always oh, forget about man. the fade. Yeah. That's on me. Thank you. Nice. Nice dot right there by Barrett to get back in. But yeah, Nick, oh, that's the thing the that really people don't realize is when you get in that hot seat fade. with seventy five hundred dollars on the line, you know, things change. You get the nerves going. It's a lot different. And we are at home, so it's not as much as if we were in person, but if that's the complete difference people don't understand. Sometimes you're just at home playing your pajamas, making YouTube videos, but when you get oh, in this man. hot when you get in this hot seat Bro, on this big stage, okay. things change. Your brain starts working differently and you gotta get ready for the moment. TD Barrett looking to become the first Canadian club champion in MCS history. Come here. Hand off to man. Bush and Home of my football. Noah prep for that one. It's that man, Taylor Mays, making plays. Last year we said it. So many hit sticks from Noah. You see it again right there. That Taylor Mays has been the MVP mm. of the tournament, in my opinion. Just blows up the inside zone in the backfield with a big hit stick. Can TD Barrett find some offense down the field? You know, you got plenty of his fans in the chat. Shout out to all the TD Barrett subscribers in the chat rooting for their guy. Still only 7 0 in this one. Shotgun formation. Dante Culpepper trying to roll right. Mm. There's no one over there. He'll throw this one away. Another third down for mm -hmm. TD Barrett. Interesting play right there. You see, he picked up the user rush, so he did a good job, but he but he, he kind of came off the edge, so he wasn't able to get around there, wasn't able to get step up in the pocket. So, uh, good play by both guys there. Now we got a big third and 12. TD Barrett going to stick to the air in that shotgun wing formation. Looks like a tight end post, maybe a little slant backside behind it. Dante Culpepper, the former Central Florida Knight, at the helm. Culpepper. Oh, Stepping oh left, God, waiting. He the curl route. He's, man, we know Terry McLaurin as a guy with wheels. Somebody can over the top, and he's got some good route running. A little curl route for our first yeah. down for TD Barry. Yeah, we've seen how effective those curl routes are, especially with the aggressive catch right there wide open. But he did have a rope behind it that I thought he might have been able to get for a big play, but able to check down, go to the curl, picks up a nice first down. Under four to go in the first half. Back to work. No way. Back to that oh, oh, inside you zone. You don't throw anything. So far, Noah's run defense has stood up to the task. He is one of the best defensive players in the game. By far, without a doubt. And you see T-Bat really mixing up his formations. He's been going to some shotgun spread, going to some shotgun wing. You see him go under center a little bit. So. Second and 11, you know, it's really been the story of can he pass good enough because Noah's run defense has looked phenomenal. Second down and 11. Culpepper waiting. Good coverage on, down. He's going to take pick. the shot. The defense will get there first. Pat Willis with the sack. Third and long. Noah's defense standing tall. You see Noah's user pick up that crossing route, going to the left side. Looks like oh, he had a one-on-one -on -one with though. that deep post right there, but you can't really throw that. TD was about to throw that, and then it could have been a pick. So uh, here we go again. Noah's defense looking good. If you're TD Barrett, maybe go back to that tight end delay fade. Get about half of this back. You had some success with that a few plays ago. A timeout taken by TD Barrett, each with two remaining. Hmm. Reggie Bush on the right hip of Culpepper. You got McLaurin and Metcalf at wide receiver. Vernon Davis and Darren Waller at tight end. Two tight ends, two wide 
on opposite sides as Culpepper drops back. Blitz picked up nicely. Culpepper's outside of the pocket. He's taking the shot. He has him. It's caught by Vernon Davis. Oh, Stumbles yeah, and fumbles sure into the end zone. A touchdown for TD uh, Barrett. Now I can breathe a little bit. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh. Good. All right, let's go get some. The YouTube star sweaty. with the phenomenal dot down the sidelines on that little girl. Start, Vernon gonna, Davis, and you hit TD Barrett here. say it. Now I can breathe. The the, the, the the anxiety, the nerves have settled down. He gets a drive a bit. seven and he ties the ball. I wasn't breathing very well. For like two third and ninety seven on that drive. I don't wanna for anyone watching, you do not want to live and die doing what I just did. But hopefully we got a second life here. You know what I loved about that? We, and we don't see it too often here in the game of Madden because it's all about intensity. These guys, a lot of these guys have been here. They've played in big money games. The thing I loved about that is that was just pure joy on the face of TD Bear. Just to get on the board in his first club final appearance, it's just, it was nice to see. <laughs> it's so awesome to see. You, you could tell that he's just so happy to be in this spot. He grinded his way to get here. You really, like we've said a million times, but it's so hard to go from just being a content creator, playing the game for fun, and then getting onto the competitive scene. Mm. And, you know, I remember my first tournament game when I was young, I was just so nervous. You know, I couldn't even breathe, especially in a big game like this, playing for $7,500. So that was a clutch drive to get back in it, calm those nerves down, get back on defense, and try to make a stop. Play action pass. Arm on third and five. Good yes, coverage yes, down the field. Oh, and Noel will throw this Noah. one away. You can feel the confidence building for what are TD we doing, Bear. Noah? I feel like he's going for this, isn't he? Oh, the nerves he settled is. down. He's feeling it a little bit. That's what I said. You get back on defense, you kind of get a groove going, and Noah's going to go for it. Noah is always aggressive. He's going to have to cook up a laser here. He's not going to punt and trust his defense. Far fourth and five. Can the gunslinger make a play on a fourth and manageable? Noah drops back. Two-man rush. He's got time, and he's got Saquon underneath. Big hit over the middle, but it's good for 14 and a first down. Great play call right there and a clutch dot on fourth and five in his own territory because if he wasn't able to convert that, it could have been big for TD Barrett, but Noah, always clutch, makes a nice read, picks up the first down. Back to work on offense. Under a minute and a half to go. It's going to be... Raheem Mostert, 97 speed to the 46 yard line. Timeout taken by Noah, second and short. Noah really mixing up those running backs well. You know, one play you see Barkley with that conversion, then you see Mostert. So he's really utilizing the two running back scheme really well. Chat, who you got? 7-7. Seven, seven. Give me a one in the chat for Noah. Give me a two for TD Parrott as TD Parrott dials up some run defense. Stopped in the backfield, third and three. Nice power O defense, able to blow it up in the backfield. TD Barrett's really looked much better now. He's kind of settled down, playing good defense, making it difficult for Noah to get anything going. No big plays. Uh, let's go! Come on. Oh, good defense on the outside Whoa. on Barkley once again. Fourth down for Noah. Can he convert another one? Yeah. The second time on this drive, Noah's going to have a fourth down. Now, can TD Barrett get the stop here, get off the field that he, that he needs? Or does Noah have another clutch conversion? Fourth and a little under two. Noah will audible to that strong eye. Barkley in the backfield. McLaurin in motion from right to left. Oh, Snaps the ball. Far oh, quick throw to the flat. It's Mike Allstock with the catch. The fullback with a rare Remember offensive play. A first down flat. for Noah as he gets out of bounds. Great, great play call right there. You see Noah, he likes to go to that strong close when he does need to pass. You know, he has a fullback in the flats. He had a motion slant coming behind it. So it's kind of a high-low read oh, versus the hard versus down. cloud flats. He's able to check down Mike Allstock and pick yeah. it up. How about the gap shooting though from TD Barrett? We know he lives with one of the best defensive players in the game in the Madden Bowl champion Joke. And it seems like Joke is giving him some advice on how to stop this run game. Both guys with excellent run defense in this game so far. Noah gonna go back to the ground game. Barkley is going to again find not a lot of room. It's gonna be a third and about nine. 16 seconds and counting. One timeout remaining for each player. 13 seconds and counting in the first half. Back to the guy oh. formation. And Noah's just going to run this down. And it looks like he's going to take his three. It's going to be a 
53-yard field goal from the center hash mark. Stop the quick out. Stop the quick out. Stop the quick out. Ball is down. The kick is up. And with zeros on the clock in the first half, Noah takes a 10-7 lead. Tyler, going into the second half, who's feeling better right now? Is it Tyler or TD? How are you feeling? Right now. Let me ask you. <laughs> it's, it's a defensive battle. I think TD Barrett has a little bit of the momentum going, but Noah's been here before, so you know he probably has it on his side just because he knows these situations. But I've been super impressed with both guys as far as their run defense. The difference in the second half is going to come down who can make a big play happen. Ten minutes remain here in this Patriots Club final. It has been a close game. The defending Madden Challenge champion Noah up next. 10-7 over T.D. Barrett. These two guys not only fighting for a spot in the January Club Championship, but they also have some hardware to take home. The winner of this game will receive this custom acrylic trophy from the New England Patriots. Something that will be in the background of all shots of all games played at home. And a reminder that our champions are not the only ones who can be winners today. Make sure you go to patriots.com forward slash Madden to register for your chance to win a Devin McCourty core elite card. Jump in there soon. Supplies are limited. So make sure to sign up for your chance to win the Devin McCourty core elite card. Again, that's patriots.com forward slash Madden. Second half of action here in the Patriots Club Championship presented by Zip Chair Gaming. It is going to be Noah with the ball first, going to a little jet sweep action. DK Metcalf picks up five. I like that mix. It's the jet one. sweep. Utilize your best players. DK Metcalf, all that speed, staying in that single back wing flex close. And this is a big drive for Noah now because if you're able to go down and get seven, make it two possessions, the way you're playing defense, make it tough on TD Barrett. Yes, sir. There it is. Is it to Barkley? Oh, this certainly stop is once, 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 once. Come this on. certainly is a less nervous TD Barrett a after he got that touchdown. It seems like he relaxed. He's feeling much better. Do you see him? He keeps getting Noah in these third and fourth situations, and that's good. But you've got to get these stops when you get him into these type of spots. Noah's been clutch so far. Can he do it again? Yeah, go to the run game this time. Really Mark is going to pick up the first time. down and get seven. Little outside really zone know. action right there. And that strong close outside zone or off tackle has been good in Madden for 10 plus years now. I remember playing back in Madden 09, Madden 10, Nick. Strong close off tackle was the money run and it's still effective here 10, 11 years later in Madden 21. First and 10, it's Mostert. The speedster on the outside. He's got the first down and more to the 49 yard line. All of a sudden you can feel Noah Starting to get a little bit of a groove in the run game. And this is the thing about Noah. He adjusts so well. And it's not just on defense. He adjusts on offense. He sees what you're doing. You see he's getting these numbers to that strong side on the right side now. He's able to get big plays going over there. No, bro. Just hold outside. your block. That's a touchdown. Oh, come on, man. Just hold your block, big fella. Still getting nine. Second in the yard. Noah said he's worked hard here early in Madden 21 to prove that he's more than just a runner. He's a well-rounded offensive player so no, far. No, let me call Hype. Why is the game not letting me call Hype? The run Come game on, has oh, been effective. That's a big penalty, though, dropping it back to a second and six. Yeah, that's an unfortunate break right there. Luckily, it's only second down, not third down. But I love what Noah's doing. He's really adjusting to, to see Barrett's defense going to that strong side. Farm on second down, stepping up, and he delivers a strike to Vernon Davis. Picking up 22 to the 23-yard line. Noah loves that slant post combo. He continuously goes back to that. He's got the motion slant, and then he's got the post from the tight end. It really stresses the user, forcing TD Barrett to go to the slant, and then the post becomes wide open. It's seven Back games over. On the ground. Winding oh my God, and weaving. Winding and weaving down to the four-yard line. Saquon Barkley. I know every Giants fan at home is going, man, can you imagine how oh, good we'd be if Barkley was healthy? We'd be at least a five-win team. Great stick work right there by Noah. You see it. And T for TD Barrett, big tackle right there because now you get him into that into the five-yard line area where it does get difficult to score. So if you're TD Barrett, that clock's starting to work against you. you got to hold him to three. 10-7. Noah 
No, with the ball and inside the red zone. Thank you. Come on, man. One stop. Wide one more stop. Like, I don't know how it's going. Like, 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 my third just looking there. Like, like, my third can be there. Noah. You should not ever get a yard. Come on, man. One more stop. Finish the game, kid. Finish the game. Come on. I don't, like, third in Africa. I had him in third in Africa a million times. Big drive right there by Noah, and Come that on, shows you why he's game. a belt winner. That's why he's so good at the game. In the, one of the clutchest moments, you need a big drive. He goes down the field, and he gets seven. He doesn't get, get seven, and that's what puts these type of one games stop. away. One stop. Come on. One stop. Finish. Finish. Take a look at this touchdown. The blocking up front was stellar, and Bark hey, was going to walk on, into stop. the end zone. One more stop. Like, I don't even know how he scored. Like, my, my, my third just wasn't there. Like, my third. Question, just is that a technical power term? Up. <laughs> TD, is that, a, is that a technical term, third in Africa? Like how, Third in oh, Africa. why did you get blocked? Is that, is that like, how how long of a third down does it have to be to technically qualify as third in Africa? <laughs> Interesting uh, word choice. I mean, third in Africa, I've never heard that before. But here we go, TD Barrett now, you know, first MCS appearance, down 10, over a minute to go in the third. See if you can, you're gonna get at least three points here, Nick. You know, you want to get down there as fast as possible. You see him going some no huddle. I like that decision. And TD Barrett in that Baltimore Ravens playbook, second down and six. Michael Vick into the game. Motion ball to the right side, hands it off to Bush. Up the middle, first down, a little hezzy. Boy, you want to talk about the biggest difference between Madden 20 and Madden 21. In Madden 20, everyone was using Vic. In Madden 21, this is the first time we've seen Vic on the field, I think, through all the clubs. Yeah, and you pointed out a lot of variety at running back, but there's also a lot of variety at quarterback this year. You know, you see Josh Allen, you see Brett Favre, Dante Culpepper, Mike Vick. We've even seen some Joe Montana. So a lot more variety this year in Madden 21 when it comes to building a Mutt roster. <laughs> Oh, okay. Got to clutch something up here. Got up in the chat. We're going to go to the fourth quarter. 17 to 7. Noah on top. One stop, kid. Come on. Can Noah get that stop against the YouTube star TD Barrett? TD said that. No matter what happens here, he's going to continue on the grind. Whatever his next opportunity to compete is, he's going to do it because he Madden wants to be a competitive Madden player. His little handoff to Bush picks up one. And Nick, I've been impressed with TD Barrett. You know, he's looked, he's looked, he hasn't looked great, but he hasn't looked bad by any means. You know, he's stuck in the game. He's going up against a, one of the top probably 10, 15 players in the world right now. And he's stuck around. He's still hanging around. He's looked, he bounced back from some early adversity. So for his first MCS major appearance, I've been impressed. We're down at five. Call Pepper. Blitz picked up, curl route right side. Terry McLaurin to the 30 yard line for TD Barrett. Continues to impress me. Curl flat combo versus Noah's zone defense to the right side. Goes with some hurry up here. Look for a QB power. Going to the outside. A little hezzy. Dante Culpepper getting in the QB run game. A little hesitation, a little stop and go. You'd like to see Vic maybe in that spot, but going with that hurry up, he's just trying to get as many plays off. You can see TD Barrett looking up at the clock. He knows it's getting into that desperation time here. You want to get points, ideally a touchdown before the two-minute warning. Well, Pepper on second and five, rolling out in trouble. Oh, what a, what a throw to Reggie Bush on the run. First down to the 15-yard line. Hottie McDottie right there. Nice one. At the last minute, he gets it off, able to convert on the sidelines and get out of bounds. So I believe the clock is stopped here. You see TD Bear. I know the nerves are getting to him. He's so excited, man. This I love to see this because you can see him taking those deep breaths. He knows this is, it matters to him. It's important to him. Vic, it's Vic breaking tackles down to the one-yard line. Michael Vick down to the one for TD Barrett. He's still got life. The Canadian YouTube superstar is a fighter. He's not giving up. Great run right there, getting down to the one. You wanted to punch that in right there. You got to try to punch this in as quick as possible. Let's see what he cooks up. It's got to be maybe a QB power again or look for a fullback dive. I don't know if I love the QB power. If you're Noah, you got to expect this is coming. This formation is an easy tell. That it's 100% either a quick base or QB power. 
Cantini Barrett finds seven. Cut this back to a three point lead. Looks like he's setting up for the QB power. It will be. It's Dante Culpepper inside. TD Barrett on the board. Oh, Canada. Big time drive right there by TD Barrett. He goes all the way down the field. Gets seven. He doesn't settle for three. Three point game. He's got three timeouts. What a ball game we have, Nick. Oh, I know. Find a way. 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 time great read bounces off his own blocker and into the end zone and look at that exhale from td barrett yeah that's a big stress relief Stop right there run. and we've seen that culpepper nick we have a lot of success today we saw ice run it in the red zone you know he's kind of that big bully quarterback you can just give the ball to on the red zone and now for noah can you put him away do you have that put away drive in you oh good start barkley for 13. Where the heck did that run come from? I have never in my life seen that run. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> TD Barrett, he's never seen the toss out of wing flex close. This isn't a real popular play call. You don't see it too often, but I've seen it a little bit. We saw Stevie run it a little bit earlier, but some just great stick work again by Noah. And he audibles here to the top. Come on, Taylor. Uh, come on, Taylor. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Barkley to the 41, give him three, and assuming there's no timeout, which there isn't, we'll take that down to the two-minute warning. Ty, are you surprised as to how close this game is? I really am. Like I said, I've been impressed with TD Barrett. You know, Noah is the big favorite coming in, but TD Barrett's hung around. Two minutes to go. These are two big downs coming up because it's either going to force TD Barrett to use his timeouts or not. Dang, fair play, good play, Noah. Pretty guy for two minutes, bro. Dang, that's pretty a guy for two smart, minutes. I mean, I have zero chance uh, to stop. Just so smart by ball. Noah. Just so smart, so intelligent. This he really caught T Barrett off guard. In a million years, you would have never expected Noah to pass in that situation. He catches uh, TD Barrett coming down in the box, expecting the run, and he hits him over the top. Just a really no. smart play by Noah. I did not Look prepare at this for this. One more time. Not an easy throw. Not an easier throw to make, Ty, when ah! Terry McLaurin doesn't have anybody for 15 yards around him. Oh man! Camera, my bad. All right, bro. I don't know how to stop this dude. He's, he's so used to his own streaming camera. That's what I love. He looked into <laughs> you know, his own camera first. Exactly. Yeah, and that was just a brilliant play. You saw TD Barrow just completely caught off guard, did not expect it, and Noah took advantage. Just a brilliant play. Oh, oh yes, sir. Right the shed. Finally, you finally woke up, boys. Call Pepper on second and 18 over the Fine. middle. He's got McLaurin. Mm. For 10. Keep it in front. Keep it in front. Desperation time right here for TD Barrett. You know, Noah can kind of sit back, let his guys rush off the edge, play a lot of coverage. And if you're TD Barrett, you know, we haven't seen a lot of great passes from him. He's going to have to, he's going to know that flood concept here. That's fine. Back one. Ooh, over the middle. That's DK Metcalf. Oh, I got to hold for an onside kick now. Yeah, TD Barrett forced to use one of those three timeouts. And you heard him say it there. Now it's all up to the onside kick gods. And they are not forgiving. That timeout right there forces him to have to rely on an onside kick now, which is not fun. If I was TD Barrett, I might have tried to do a hurry up, get one more playoff for a big play, but really, you got to take some chances here. You got to get into field goal range ASAP. Culpepper, play action pass, stepping right. Looking for a playmaker up the field, but nobody there. Noah, youngest MCS belt winner in history. Oh, I still got my. Oh, that's such a classic B move. I still got a freaking tight end over there. What? Oh, yep, he's still got three tight ends out there. He's got, he's got Julio on the line. He's got Darren Waller's split wide left. He's going away. I do not know where that is. You see him saying, Nick, that he needs a touchdown on one play, but you can't really think like that. I know you need a big chunk play, but you can't just try to cook up some one play touchdown videos. That's not going to work in this situation. Noah knows that. 
So if you're TD Barrett, you gotta look for like a 30, 40 yard dot to get into like, you gotta get at least to like the 50, call timeout, and then do one more play and kick a field goal. That's the only chance you really have in this situation. Third and 10. Uh, he's got the right number of wide receivers out there. Yeah, I don't know where Looking that for one anything, is. Hit us through. The miracle touchdown. You know, Ty, when we talked to, to Chidi Bear, my favorite thing that, that he said, he said, no matter what, he's excited to be right, here. He's like going to have out. a good time. He's going to do his best. Anything. He said, I'm going to learn from this experience. It. Without a doubt. You know, that's so that's all you can ask for. When you get in a spot like this, it's it's just such a good experience. It's just it's invaluable because yeah, now next year he can lock in. He knows he needs to improve on and come back better and stronger. Trying to three, just uh, in case anyone had the over under. Shoot! Picks up a first down. It's about 10 yards here, Nick. So you have a shot at the field goal on the onside. Call Pepper outside the pocket. Throws this one away. Excellent defense right there by Noah. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better spot. You kind of just play back coverage, make him kind of roll around, use some of that clock, and then throw it away. Come on, swerve, swerve, swerve! Oh my god, no! No, 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 no. TD Barrett fighting till the end. It's not over till it's over, and you never know what can happen on an onside kick. No timeouts left for TD Barrett. He's going to bring the offense out. Sort of thought he'd attempt the field goal. Very surprised by this. I thought the screen was pretty much saying, hey, I'm going to get a couple yards and I'm going to kick the field goal. But interesting enough, he's going to go for it. Uh, you know, I'll probably kick the field goal here. And all the time in the world. Throw this one away. Yeah, you might as well kick the field goal here. Unless you take a shot at the end zone, you're really kind of just not doing anything productive. So it's either take a shot at the end zone on this play or kick the field goal. He's got he can't just run around and, and throw it away. You gotta take a shot. Got nothing there. He'll take off with Culpepper. Alright, that was probably an unnecessary hit out of bounds. Can we get some flags out here? <laughs> And now he's going to decide to kick the field goal, though. I think like, he just oh, answered, he just, like he just answered my question for me, Nick. I was going to say, you should have did this about 20 seconds ago. <sighs> I think he realizes so that. And that's part of the growing thing, Nick. When You you know, these are the first big games he's ever played. You're going to learn these type of things as you get, move forward in your competitive Madden career. Let me just catch you on the side, catch you on the side. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, look for the hands team to make one play to make him a club champion. They pick it up, big hit, Yo, and that is your ball man. game. Uh, if you're watching this after you're a beast, bro. I, I tried for ages to stop those freaking runs. I can't stop those runs. I, uh, he's, he, and he, he doesn't do it. He's just, the way he moves around, different formations, he always knows what's up. Appreciate anyone uh, who came from my YouTube is watching. I'm sorry for letting you see guys down, but I'm going to be back. I got, Yeah, trust me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be back. I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that I'm holding the belt at some point, so you heard it here first. I might be cut off already, but I'm just going to keep... Dang, that sucks. Big shout out to TD Barrett. <laughs> you love that attitude. Yeah. Noah is your Patriot Club champion. Uh, TD, I think it is safe to say, before we talk about Noah, it's safe to say I don't think TD let anyone down. It was a hard-fought battle against a belt winner. Just came up short. Without a doubt, I'm super impressed by TD Barrett, his, his ability to fight adversity, his first MTS major, and he did really well, but congratulations to Noah. The kid continues to show why he's here to stay, a belt winner, and he's looking to continue his dominance here in Madden 21. Yeah, for Noah, 24-17 win. Uh, and really in this game, TD, it was a great balance. His offense was effective. His defense did enough. 24-17, it almost feels like it wasn't quite uh, what the what the game really felt like. Yeah, it seemed like Noah kind of would just keep taking the lead, have an advantage, and then TD Barrett would slowly just fight back, get back into it a little bit. But in the end, Noah was just too much. But like I said, TD Barrett was impressive. He hung around with a top 15 Madden player in the world in his first MCS major, so impressive. But Noah, just too much for TD Barrett. Well, let's bring in the uh, Patriots Club Champion Madden 20 Challenge Belt winner, 18-year-old Noah 
Man, congratulations, man. You know, I'm a big fan. I've been uh, watching you ever since uh, last year. I I've said that you're one of the best Madden players here in Madden 21. You proved today. Tell me how tough this game was going up against a very unique offense in TD Barrett. Yeah, man. GG's, first of all, GG's to TD Barrett, man. That, I mean, that was a hell game. Uh, I, I expected him to be in a wing stack because, like, that's what all his YouTube videos were on. That's what, like, uh, that's what he played his club Elam's on. So, like, I prepared for wing stack, like, last couple weeks. This offense, I don't even know what playbook this is in. I have no idea what this offense is. I mean, it had me confused the whole game. Uh, he looked really good on offense. I, I couldn't I, – I got one lucky lurk to – it probably was just nerves for him. I lurked him first uh, first drive. But other than that, I really couldn't stop him. So, GG's to him. But, uh, yeah, that game was really tough. Congrats, Noah. Um, last year, you know, belt winner. You made a deep run in the Classic last year. Now you're a club champion. Just talk about this continued success and what it means to you to be the Patriots club champion. Oh, it means a ton to be the Patriots club champ. Uh, Bill Belichick's my favorite coach. Uh, that's partly why I did the Patriots club. I'm also, uh, my, my cousin's a Patriots fan, so I did it for him. But uh, yeah, it's, it's huge. I'm a Patriots, uh, Patriots club champ. I'm, I usually never do well in clubs. I didn't do well in clubs last year, so... It's huge that I did well in clubs because it's the biggest tournament of the year. And uh, I'm excited for the rest of the tournament. Got to play a lot better if I want to make it far. Well, Noah, you are going to represent the Patriots at the club championships in January. And they sent over a very special congratulations for your win today. What's going on, Noah? I'm Jacoby Myers. I'm excited to congratulate you on being the Madden 21 Patriots club champion. Best of luck in the conference championship. And not only that, you're going to be getting this custom acrylic trophy from the Patriots for your win here in this club championship. A nice piece. I think you got a little bit of room next to the belt. You can you can put that one on top of the bookshelf, I think. Yeah, I think it will fit. Should be good. Well, you got two months until the club.